Do you know what I mean? Right, we've got Mark White with us after a 1 0 defeat to Aldershot Town in the trophy. Disappointed losing, obviously, but I thought there was a lot, a lot of positives today. Christy, first half, I felt we were solid in that formation. We played some great football and we really looked good for the first uh, in the first half. Yeah, I thought, you know, barring a sort of a, a sort of 10, 12 minute spell, start the second half, I thought we were very dominant in the game. Um, I was really proud of the lads today, to be honest, I, and I was really pleased with our supporters as well. I just want to thank the supporters that um, just literally never say die. Listen, you know, we're, we're so unlucky at the end, mate. I mean, fuck me, is it the, is it the crossbar? And, and then it sort of bounced over Seager. Yeah, can't uh, go too far. Unbelievable. Me. Listen, we, um, we, we had a great week training. Uh, we're on an upward trajectory. That's where we are. Uh, we're disappointed. Uh, we're disappointed that we're not two games from Wembley. Yeah. Um, if there is a positive, the league schedule would have been an absolute nightmare. But equally, you wouldn't swap that for Wembley. Mm-hmm. Uh, congratulations to Ross um, and all the shot. Uh, they've had our number this year. Um, we'll feel unlucky about that. But all you can do in football is queue them up and knock them down another time, mate. It's a day the best side lost on the day. Um, that's the bottom line on the day. Um, and... Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes it ain't going for you. That's what happens, you know, when you get the, the you know, Josh Taylor inside of the post, keeper, scra- you know, like, we can, uh, we're so good for a goal in the last 15, really dominant. But the boys show great spirit, mate. They showed really good spirit and uh, they were winning the half battle. They'd done everything they could to get over the line. Um, and I'm really pleased about that. We had a good week training. We took it into today. Shape was good, structure was great. The goal, all the shots scored, literally 46th minute mm. and against the run of play. Mm. Again, Dan Lincoln, so unlucky. Oh, He's so mate. unlucky. Isn't he? Great save. So unlucky. Oh, so yeah. it wasn't going to be our day today. Yeah. But like I said, credit to all the shot and Ross. Credit to their fans, making a good atmosphere. Massive credit to our fans for making a brilliant atmosphere. And also, I can just yeah. feel that. I can just feel that never say die spirit, you know, in us. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I would not, I would not underestimate us in these next seventeen games. I really wouldn't. I feel like we've got great bodies in the building. I feel like we are, you know, in a really good place. And um, you know, we're going to be going home soon on a Saturday night, buzzing. It's going to happen. You know, it is going to fucking happen. So let's just look at it factually. That's just looking at the boys we bought in the building, the boys we've got returning to, to fitness. Today, you know, the possession, the chances created, the structure of the team, there were so many more positives today. So I'm not remotely despondent. I'm disappointed, obviously, but, you know, we now focus on the league. Uh, I think that makes the um, the Notch County game uh, a TV game, 20 past five on that, um, whenever that is in March. Um, and that's where we are, mate. That's where we are. So, yeah. What happened? Was it concussion for? Did he bang his head uh, a Lincoln or what? Did he do his arm or shoulder? Or what, what happened to him? Well, Dan's saying it's a foul. He, he's saying it's a foul, the second bit. Um, but, you know, it, it, didn't, it didn't cost us the game in my book. I, I think it's the second yellow card for the boy Glover, I think it was. Um, and, and I think that should have been a yellow, but I can see I can see why the rest not done it. It was a negligible one. He didn't want to send the boy off. So if I'm being fair to the ref, I can see why he didn't give it. But if he ain't on a yellow, he gets a yellow. So it's one of those ones. But listen, again, that didn't cost us a game. Just a little bit of composure first half. Seb gets into a great area, a 3v3. Jimmy's cutting in from the mm-hmm. right, you know, puts it in the stand. And the second half, I thought we... Especially last twenty, we, we went, we went man for man. We threw Josh up, and, and we asked him to go, you know, show the desire to just go and win the game and get some account of it. And they've done everything we asked of them, and I know the fans get that. So, mate, I just feel honestly, I am just what I saw today was when I see wave and wave of wonders, wave after wave of us attacking. I think that's what we're all about. That's what we're all about, and um, you know, we saw. A lot more of that today. Could we have done that a little bit earlier, do you think? The last 10 minutes? Do you feel we could have just done a little bit more like we were doing it in the last 10 minutes or not? Well, no, we, we, we went direct and put Josh Taylor up there and we sort of we went to a back three and we won the half battles higher. So we've just done it strategically okay. because all the shots press 
in the second half just stopped us finding that extra man. Mm. And we were going long instead of finding it because they were split in half spaces. And we were going long. And it was just that 10, 12 minutes where we were, good, we were going direct and they were playing into their extra man. They were stepping out with the ball. And it just put the ascendancy with all the shot. And, and to be fair to all the shot, although they didn't really create anything uber dangerous, they got into some dangerous areas a few times. But that back four stayed rigid. But listen... You know, George Frank, um, what a massive positive for the club. Proper player, mate, you know. 100%. I think, you know, we've got the big dog back, Jason Pryor. You know, and, uh, McShane suspended today. You know, we've got so many positives, mate. And, and I'm going to, that is where I see it. I'm not going to, I sit in some weeks, moan about the refs, you know, moan about my boys and people going to slags off his own players, right? But the bottom line is, I always say what I see. Today I saw boys that really wanted to win that game, um, almost stopped thinking about where they were. You know, someone in quieter boy, Jimmy Isaac, they just stopped thinking about it, got on with it, and they stepped up to the situation. So I thought the better side lost, but that happens week in, week out in football. Mm. We've been the we've been the sort of we've won many a game where we where maybe on the balance we wouldn't have done. And Ross is a really honest guy and he said that at the end and he gets that. But so yeah we're We'll take all the positives, mate. There was a couple of little nicks. Joe Cook and Baz have finished the game with a little, um, you know, little hamstrings and nicks and stuff, which we need. So that's the only negative. Yeah. Uh, that's the only negative. But, yeah, apart from that, mate, I thought, um, you know, unlucky, mate. We've got to put in the unlucky camp. But just appreciate the fans, really, to be fair, mate. I just seeing all these fans and the boys that come over from America Fucking right. That's what it's all about, Wonders, mate. And uh, there's going to be great times at some point and some point soon. Right. I don't want to go on too much about it, but the back four, do you, do you feel that it, that helped the, the performance? Do you feel that before? Because the back four, we look solid. I know they yeah, didn't have a tall man up top. Yeah, it's not whether it's a back four or back three. It's just making sure you've got a, a plus one. So, you know, like, we recently we've been gambling going man for man. So teams, yeah, yeah, yeah. teams have played 4-3-3, three, three, we played a 3-5-2. Yep. That, that's really where we've been picked off a bit in one-to-one situations. Yes. So we're just going to be a bit more bit more sensible, a um, bit more, you know, play percentage-wise yes. and give ourselves a plus one. And we've spoken about that. And, yeah, listen, mate, you know, we look comfortable today. Didn't look like a team that's been conceding loads of goals. I thought we defended well. Yeah, mate. So people are going to be sitting there thinking, fucking hell, he's happy, he's positive. But I do feel like I always look at performances first and foremost. And mm-hmm. I thought today I saw a lot in them boys. I saw a lot in them boys I was pleased with and the fans. 17 games, a lot of points to play for, isn't it? It's a lot of points points to play for. Yeah, mate. Honestly. <laughs> I, honestly, mate. It's, it really is. It really is. And um, you just worry about yourself, mate, because you go and win five games... I mean, all the shot beat us last week, and we've got two games in hand on them, and I think they're four points off the playoffs. <laughs> right. Listen, it's a fall that looks at that league table. You know, you, you need to get results, and we're doing everything right off the field. And, and let me tell you, we will be back. We will be fucking back soon. Make no mistake. And when we are, you know, everybody, the fans, the club, everybody will fucking enjoy it. I thought Jeb had a good second at first half. Great first half. Great first half. Played a higher. I thought he looked good playing higher. Yeah, he, he had one job to do. Stop there four, getting on the ball. Um, and he's done a really good job. Um, Second yeah, half, yeah. little bit. He just had a, he had, he had about five minutes. And yeah. uh, that's just about experience. And I say to the boys, it's just basics. You give it give it away. Next pass, Make sure. three yards. Yes, you know. 100%. But his great eyes that went on, one every head, uh, looked really strong. And it's, uh, listen... We can't celebrate losses, but equally no. we have to manage where it is. I'm, I'm so pleased, you know, that um, there was positives in the game. We'll have a great week training, yeah. you know. Listen, the team we've assembled now, um, that, that we've got, that we can field now, ain't, you know, ain't no, ain't no mugs, mate, you know. So this is a team that now, from a standing start in this division, we will give every game, no matter who it is, a really, every team a really good game. So that's what I expect now, mate. That's the expectation. That's where we are. And the, the, the uh, schedule's relentless. So, you know, no doubt the fans are following us all over the country and, you know, there's going to be good times. Bobby Joe Taylor coming off, which is a yellow card, was it? Yellow card up against that boy. Yeah, yeah he's a good Amazula. player. Good player. Um, yeah, good lad. Yeah, I mean, and annoyingly, he's on the he's on the yellow bob and he's going to put a foot exactly. in when he spins him for the goal. Yes, and he, he couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. 
uh, just shows his fine margins that. that fine that. margins. So, yeah. yeah. But listen, credit to all the shop. They've got the W. Um, they're having a good time here. They're having a good mm, time, Ross. Mm. Can't knock it, mate. So, um, yeah, we come runners up, mate. Runners up trophy. <laughs> That's where it is. Okay, well, have a good week. Cheers, Daz. And we'll see you, I'll see you at Bromley. Everybody's fucking happy, aren't they? I'm always happy, me. You Cheers, know me. Mate. See ya.